MBS Tech Talk with R&D Lee. Hey guys, Joel Lee bringing you today's MBS Tech Talk. Today we're talking about the uh, MBS Dylan Warren Pro 97, hot off the press. Um, so basically, a couple things that you'll uh, you'll see on this board that's a new. A, a, a lot is kind of technology that's just tried and true that works for us. So in terms of the materials that we're using, fiberglass, composite, all that type of stuff, um, continuing with all that. One of the main differences is we've changed this board over to a, a horizontal LAM um, composite construction from the reverse cap composite. And what, what that's allowed us to do is actually get concave back into the deck, which is one thing we listen to a lot of feedback. And that's one thing that people have been asking for for a long time is just to get that nice kind of concave feel and it's something that we couldn't do with the reverse cap composite. So that's probably the biggest thing that you're going to know in terms of actually touching and feeling this deck. The other thing is um, stiffness with the added concave and the special layup that we're doing for this one. Really aggressive layup. You got a really stiff poppy deck. So probably the stiffest deck that we've made to date. Once again feedback from all the pros. They're doing huge stuff. Massive drops. They don't want to bottom out you don't want to bottom out, so that's kind of what we've done with this uh, Dylan Pro 97. Um, one of the really special things that we've done with the concave is actually we've done, well two things, one we've done a multi-concave over the deck, so basically the concave in the center of the deck is actually not the same concave which is underfoot, alright, and the reason that we've done that is in the center of the deck you want a pretty flat surface for rail sliding, but you still want concave up at the end, so we've done kind of a tub concave just to give that stiffness through the center of the deck. Now the reason that we change the concave as it transitions underfoot is because we've done it to actually, what we found is the tub concave under the heel created a pressure point under our heels with the old prototypes that we did. So what we did is we transitioned that out and did an asymmetric concave underfoot to basically just fit exactly the shape of your foot. It's really kind of difficult to see it on here, so what I've decided to do is actually chop one of these babies up to give you a little closer look. So, um, throw your safety goggles on, close your ears, and we're going to chop this sucker. Alright, <clears throat> one, two, three. Always adjust your blade. So we're gonna try that one more time with a little deeper cut. <laughs> Alright kitties, hold on. Alright, so now what you're gonna be able to see is basically the profile concave here. If you look right in here, you're gonna actually see, okay, that the low point of the deck is actually not in the center of the deck. Okay, so your foot comes down here, the low point is under the ball of your foot. Can everybody see that? Raise your hand. So basically what that does, like I said, it conform, the board conforms exactly to the shape of your foot. No pressure points, but allows you to get the extra leverage that you want from the concave on your toe side, and the same thing on your heel side. Let's take a good look at that. Okay. And there you have it, that's today's Tech Talk on the MBS Pro 97. Make sure you leave comments down below, let us know what you're thinking of the board if you've been one of the lucky ones to get one already, and subscribe to our channel for future tech talks with me, R&D, Joel, Lee. And so if you just kind of push on here, it's just nice and soft between traditional longboarding and what we do in mountain boarding. So